after the first cup, man. Yeah, so you first <laughs> chop it, innit? <laughs> I'm Tyrus Campbell, I'm 16, I'm a winger, I'm from Peckham and I've been at Charlton since under nine. I'm Miles Lieburn, I'm 16, striker, I come from Martin and came from Chelsea and I recently joined Charlton and my dad used to play for Charlton also. Who do you think has better feet, you or your dad? Death for me, man. Death for me. He's probably wearing the hair, but I've definitely got the feet, man. I'm a hold-up player, striker, so I like to get my back to the goal. Like, you can trust me into feet, hold it up, get the team up, and then lay it off and get into the box, can score some goals. It's been two years since um, we've done this interview. How do you think your, your game's changed? I can't lie, back then I had that no pace. I could not run, so I see a lot more now. I can run in behind and do the back-to-goal stuff, but back then I could only just do the back-to-goal. Creative, um, good in 1v1, and uh, I like to score in this for Now he's like the ideal person for my type of game because he'll beat the man 1v1, get across him for me. So it's great because he's very quick as well. So we also knew each other in school as well because he came to my school for a bit. And so like, I feel like when you have a more like friendly nature and you're like communicating off the pitch, helps you on the pitch as well. So you don't feel like uncomfortable talking to each other on the pitch. What year, what year did you join our school, my school? Year nine. Year nine? Yeah. yeah. I remember, I remember seeing you say that and everyone, and it was, I was just thinking that like, this team, this school team is going to be mad. So far, he's quite quiet in the house, but <laughs> I'm just waiting for him to come out of his shell. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just a quiet person. Always at dinner, and you just think, yeah, but it's like, oh, you say like the best part of your day outside, and TC would always be like, dinner. You'd never say, you would only say that one word. By the end, like, by the end of when he was living with us, he'd actually say, he'd actually say a couple sentences, but at the beginning, it was just dinner, dinner, yeah, dinner. Yeah, a lot better, a lot better. <laughs> yeah, it was good. It helped me come up my shell. And, yeah, get close with the players in the house, like Miles and Matt Dench and stuff. How many of you were there? I think at the time. Yeah, it was just me, you, Jace, Jimmy and Matt. Yeah, five of us. Yeah, usually like whenever there's a game on, we usually go in the living room and we'll watch it. We watch a movie or something. Oh, yeah. play play basketball in the garden. Yeah, yeah. that got competitive. It was the best. Jimmy, it was Jimmy. It wasn't you, bro. <laughs> this guy always tried to claim he was the best. It was Jimmy, and then and then it was me, and then it was easy. I just had my day sometimes. <laughs> I was on and off. So. And is that for family? Yeah, I was at Chelsea for like ten years before this, and. When I came in, it was uh, it was really easy to like transfer because all the boys were very welcoming to me, and I knew a couple previously as well, so that made it even easier. And yeah, it's a really good club, really friendly club, and hardworking as well. Do you remember playing against each other when we were younger when you were at Chelsea? Yeah, I remember. You had a serious different trim. You had the the dreadlocks in it. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's funny, you're always the danger man. I remember our coaches would always say, oh, this, this lad with the dreadlocks, he's good, make sure, make sure you watch him. It's the tricky one, yeah. Um, recently, I'll say my inspiration is Lookman, because he came from a similar area, and he came through the academy ranks at Charlton, so I hope to follow in his footsteps. I'll probably, just, I'll probably say my dad, because ever since I've literally like been young, I've always wanted to do football and like, be like him. Yeah, he gives me a lot of advice, especially like, how to be better, extra stuff to do after training to help. And it's just like really helped me get this far. Yeah, I've got like, a, like basically this exact same style of uh, striker, like hold up. And I've seen a couple of clips and yeah, um, it's good, yeah. Do you still um, speak to your dad about your football? How does he help? Yeah, he comes to quite a few games, the ones that he can make, because obviously I think he works, or works on the Saturdays. And yeah, he'll sit in the car after games and he'll be like, oh, Give me a couple of pointers on my, like maybe my movement in the box if the, the cross doesn't come in and stuff like that. So yeah, still talk to him. When I was on trial, Steve was very like encouraging for me to like get on the ball more and like see what I can do. And then since I've signed him, been training with the 18s, and it's been like pushing me, pushing me, and it's been really helpful because like just pushing me to do more, like work harder, and like giving my all, which is really, really encouraging and like makes me want to do it more and give it to the team. Yeah. Did you find it helpful um, being like first team coach in training? Because like considering he was with us in 18s as well. Yeah, because uh, he knows us very well, so he understands us and what what gets us going and stuff. So he knows what 
um, areas of our game we need to improve, so having them there just better. Mm. Trying to get them first team appearances, see what, see what I can reach. I don't feel the season, you know, signing your first contract, um, scoring your first goal and making your debut and stuff. No, it's, it's a mad feeling, especially because it was like I came on as a sub. I probably wasn't thinking too much would happen. But then I got that goal and everyone's celebrating, jumping on me and the fans were all celebrating. Like, it was crazy. I didn't think it would like, like I talked about my goals and that, nah, I didn't think it would come true like as soon as it did. What about you? Uh, when that happened, I was excited. Um, <laughs> Um, yeah, the first call, like before that, I wasn't really playing and stuff, so after that, it gave me my um, confidence boost, so mm. yeah, it's been good. Also, like, yeah, your name shouted by the fans. Yeah, no, it's good, man. It puts a smile, like, sometimes I try to, my mind not show it. It's just a, like, see that I'm focusing on the, on the game, but yeah. no, nah, it makes it, it gives me a nice, like, big smile on the inside. It's like a great feeling. What's the biggest thing you've learned on the pitch since then? Probably the physicality and like the dark cuts that maybe like the ref can't see like especially in the last few games when I'm in the box like they've got both arms around me and they're dragging my shirt trying not to let me move so it's just about being smart and just using my strength against them do you know what I mean? What about you? Um, probably uh, taking more risk being more confident on the pitch um, if you don't take risk then you never know what could happen so mm. yeah Are you proud of what you achieved since? Yeah no I'm very very proud like seeing myself set them goals and to like actually achieve them you know in the in like the, the space of why I kind of dreamed I'd do it and it's just like yeah it's great. Who are you? Yeah I'm happy that I achieved them. You know it's been here since under nines and stuff and seeing other players do it in the past and to be a part of them is good. So yeah. One of our <laughs> <laughs>